Well, everyone is dealing with icy roads today, but that ice can also affect your home. Shannon is here from Security Loopkey Roofing to talk about the dangers of ice on your roof. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me back. You betcha. Boy, of all days, uh, ice is the, the word of the day. I think we all slipped and um, barely got to work or where we needed to be today, the sidewalks, the parking lots, but I didn't even think about my roof. Yeah, I ordered the weather as a good segue into this. So, Can you uh, order it to go away? <laughs> yeah. Well, we can help it go away. Good. So one of the things I wanted to talk about today was uh, things you can do to help kind of prevent ice dams. Mm -hmm. um, it's the most common thing that we get service calls for uh, this time of year. Ice dams on your roof. So basically Correct. that buildup of uh, the icy stuff on your roof. Yep, exactly. So you see uh, it kind of progresses and every house is different. But you're looking at a picture of one that's kind of an extreme case. And now look at how pretty it looks, yeah. but it's not a good thing. Exactly. So it's really destroying the gutters and kind of the eave of the house right there. So uh, I think we have about six different things I was able to come up with that we can do to kind of help alleviate uh, ice dams. Okay. So one of them, obviously, is to keep the gutters clean at the end of the year. So it's usually, like for me, the last thing I do is put away my hoses so they don't freeze and check my gutters because you want to make sure that... Uh, that there aren't any leftover leaves or mm -hmm. stuff in there because it's important to get the ice and the cold water out of the gutter. So uh, step one, make sure your gutters are clean. Uh, we sell Gutter Topper, which is a product that helps kind of keep those clean. All um, year round, you yep. never have to worry about Correct. dealing with that. So step one, keep your gutters clean. Mm -hmm. uh, step two, if you know you have a problem with your house, uh, use a roof rake. So uh, most hardware stores sell them. It's a long pole and you can kind of safely stand from the ground and kind of keep the edge of the roof clean by scraping off that, uh, that Got edge. Got it. Here's Correct. a picture of uh, somebody doing that. Right. And you usually want to go a few feet up because there's a line. You don't see it, but there's a line on your roof where it goes from being hot to being cold. And that's where the ice dam happens. Got so it. you want to rake above that line so that everything can stay open. Uh, the third thing you can do is use uh, more aggressive uh, techniques, which would be ice melt kind of products. And I brought a couple of them here. Uh, we use what we call a salt sock, which is almost essentially a tube sock filled with, with salt. Uh, it's special so that it's uh, safe for your roof and landscaping and stuff. But we can put these on the roof, behind the ice dam, or even in the gutter, and they kind of slowly leach out uh, salt throughout the year. And then uh, I call them salt pucks because they kind of look like a hockey puck. Mm -hmm. uh, you, can, you can throw them up on the roof and try to get them above that ice dam. Um, for me at my house, because I like to make sure the gutters stay clear, I put these in the gutter. So, and you want to put them on the, you want to put them away from the downspout so that all the salt that it leaches makes it to the downspout and kind of keeps it open. So uh, another thing that you want to do if you know that your home has a problem with ice is when you re-roof it, build a defense against it. Got it. Because sometimes because of the architecture, you can't prevent the ice. Mm -hmm. So you have to plan your defense. And you're looking at a picture of uh, our ice and water barrier that we put down before we put down the shingles. And that helps seal around all the nails. So like on a tire where you have run flat tires where the nail goes through but it doesn't leak. Sure. Kind of the same idea. And you know, a lot of us may be thinking about replacing our roof. So yep. if you're doing it, you might as well go all yeah. out. And we're currently yeah. replacing roofs. Yeah, so I we bet. still roof in the winter. It just goes a little slower. Mm -hmm. So another thing you can do um, is you can try to increase the insulation and the ventilation of the house. Now that's harder. Uh, we love to come in though and do an assessment where we can figure out how much air can go into your attic and how much comes out because mm -hmm. we want to get the hot air out of your attic. Mm -hmm. um, and then also we want to keep the heat in your home. Sure. So adding insulation helps that too. So we can do, uh, we, we, we want your attic to breathe. Yes. So uh, we can help make sure that that happens. So if you're sitting at home right now and you're like, you know what, I, I, I'm, I'm worried. Um, I, I need some help with this. Um, that's where you guys come in. Correct. Nine tool roofing. We can send somebody out and do a full assessment of the, of the attic. And you know, some problems you can't fix. So we have our last measure is always a heat wire mm -hmm. uh, because it's expensive and it you know, constantly costs electricity. But sometimes, depending on the architecture, we can't prevent the ice. So this is kind of the last resort, and it works really, really well. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, but we, we try to use it last. But it, it keeps things going. But now you're using electricity to kind of 
get out in front of it. So, but really important to, to get it checked before it's too late. Totally, that can get we really can't expensive. add those yeah. after you have a block of ice on True. your roof. Yeah. But most people who have ice problems on their house know about it, and they try to be proactive. And we can help come up with a strategy for all of that as well. So again, the number to call nine two zero roofing. Uh, and you can learn more at 9tourroofing.com. And just say, hey, you saw Shannon uh, on Living with Amy. So thanks again. Stay warm out there. Thank you. Take Good care. to see you again. You too.